Clinical pharmacy is an area concerned with the science and practice of rational medication use, in which pharmacists provide patient care that optimizes medication therapy and promotes health and prevention of diseases. Furthermore, a specific field in clinical pharmacy is the antimicrobial stewardship, which is a coordinated program that promotes the appropriate use of antimicrobials, reduces microbial resistance, and decreases the spread of infections caused by multidrug-resistant organisms. The intent of this program is to ensure appropriate prescribing of antimicrobials as part of the broader systems within the health service organization to prevent and manage infections and improve patient safety and quality care. National University, home of the nation builders. For more than 120 years, National University has been recognized for its academic excellence, which has formed the country's most successful movers and shakers in various industries. As an institution, we continue to evolve and expand by making education accessible within your reach. We're in the business of securing your future and elevating the future of our nation through education that works. National University, home of the nation builders. National University is a private non-sectarian co-educational university that offers 24 undergraduate degrees in its eight colleges. It has established its place as offering premier tertiary education in the fields of architecture, accountancy, education, business administration, computer science, and more. It has also been the top choice for electronic and civil engineering. One of the highlights of their program is Bachelor of Science in Pharmacy, which is a four-year degree program designed for people who want to have a career in the various fields of the pharmaceutical industry. In 1922, the university offered College of Pharmacy and College of Dentistry. When the institution reorganized, BS Pharmacy program is now under the College of Allied Health with BS Nursing and BS Medical Technology. The Bachelor of Science in Pharmacy is a four-year degree program that provides a broad spectrum of scientific training composed of general education courses, core courses, and professional courses which are a blend of pharmaceutical chemistry, pharmaceutics, and life sciences. This will help provide the country with pharmacists who are scientifically competent to deliver the full spectrum of pharmaceutical services required in healthcare delivery. Good evening, Ms. April. We will formally begin the interview in a while. But before we start, please be advised that this meeting, you are consenting and giving us permission to record your answers for academic purposes. Thank you. Uh, good evening again, Ms. April. Uh, we are the fifth group of Pharmacy 225 from National University Manila Campus under Ms. Crystal Hernandez. Uh, and as for our final project for our course, first up in pharmacy, we are we were tasked to interview a registered pharmacist working in the assigned field of practice to us. Um, and we we are covering the field of anti-mutrubial solutions. Uh, first, we will introduce ourselves. Uh, hello, I am Asa Luni Horcasitas, a freshman BS Pharmacy student, and serving as the leader of this group conducting the interview. Hi, I am Hing Grace Talusin, a member of this group who will be one of the interviewers. I am a freshman student currently studying BS Pharmacy at National University in Manila. Hi, I am Hagen Brail Bakay, also a freshman pharmacy student from NU Manila and also one of the interviewers. And I am Jimmy Rose Estafia, one of the members of the group to conduct an interview with you tonight. We are very grateful that you accept our invitation. 
Okay, now that we've shared introductions, na po, we'll pass the mic on to you, Miss Purisima. Uh, can you please introduce yourself uh, and what you do as a community? Okay. So let's start. <laughs> okay. So my name is April. Um, I'm. Um, sorry, it's been decades now. Uh, since I graduated from the pharmacy school, uh, first question is, which university did you take your bachelor's degree program in pharmacy? Okay, I took up my bachelor of science in degree pharmacy in Central Scholar University way back 2000 and 2003. <laughs> so it's been almost two decades, I think. Yeah. Um, since I graduated, uh, you know, since I entered the university. So your number two is, apart from your bachelor's, did you enroll or finish any grad, grad, post-grad, um, this postgraduate studies or specializations? Yeah, I graduated doctor of pharmacy uh, right after um, finishing my bachelor's degree in. See you, Manila. After after taking the board exam, after that, after finishing doctor of pharmacy, na isip ko na magtrabaho. Twenty twenty fourteen, um, na isip ko mag MS pharmacy. So nagtuloy ako na masters in science, pharmacy, um, in CU Manila naman. <laughs> Three, can you share some information about the awards that you received when you graduated with your degree? Actually, during my bachelor's, wala akong, ano, wala akong um, awards na natanggap. Kasi hindi talaga ako, hindi talaga ako pala aral. Normal na studyante ako na tumakain sa labas pag may klase. Normal na studyante na late na dumadating. Kasi nga, uh, normal na studyante na pag umaakit ang laboratory, may dala-dala pagkain, or late dumadating, in ano ba? Hindi, hindi kasi ako grade conscious. So, hindi ako grade conscious as in. Pero ang target ko lang talaga is uh, makagraduate ng pharmacy at ano, uh, mag-further studies. Ganun lang. Ganun lang yung target ko. Yun lang talaga. Pumasa, okay, makagraduate, and then pumasa ng board exam, and then after that, mag-purse ulit ng another study. Ganun. Ganun lang talaga. Tapos mag-trapa ako. So, wala talaga ako, ano, wala talaga ako yung target na kailangan. Ganito yung grade ko, ganyan. Wala. So, four. Can you give, can you please give us a short glimpse of who and how you are as a pharmacy student, actually normal lang. <laughs> normal, sobrang normal. Um, when I, especially when, uh, ano ba? Kasi uh, I was traveling kasi from, di ba yung school ko was si Manila. So, uh, I, I was residing in North Caloocan. So, that time kasi, syempre way back 2000, 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007. 2007 kasi I graduated October yan. So, October yan. Um, wala, typically, typically normal student na nalilate pag 7 a.m. class. Um, ito pa. Tapos, normally, bumabagsak, yes. I remember, ano, ito chika lang. I remember, no, during my pharmacy years, Siguro, ano, naka... Wait lang. Uh, meron akong... May, may limang failures din ako. If, oh, if, if, I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Meron akong limang bagsak. So, normal na normal lang. Kasi ang mahirap talaga ng pharmacy. As in, grabe talaga. Ang hirap talaga ng pharmacy sa totoo lang. Especially, um, during our time na... We don't have the technology as much as you have today. Before, ano, talaga po, pag sinabi po, taka ng library, po, taka talaga ng library. Do your research ngayon. You have your, you have your inter internet, your laptop with you, you can bring it anytime. Doon, hindi, malaking computer. Yun ang dala-dala mo. <laughs> Yun ang dala-dala mo. So, number five, now that we are on the topic, uh, na, na, now that we are on the on the topic of your journey as a pharmacy student, what was your dream area of practice when you when you were a student? 
is is it the same in your current area of practice? Actually, yes. Yes. Because when I was young, the parents ko ma was working in Mercury Drug, de ba? So, ang laruan ko before was, uh, I have dolls, I have Barbie dolls. Tapos ang laruan ko before, siyempre, um, alam niyo yung mga box ng gamot? Yung mga boxes ng gamot yun. Kaya ko basahin yun. Yung mga selecoxin na yun. Kaya ko basahin yun. Bata pa lang ako. Five or six years old, kaya ko na magbasa. Kasi I love reading din talaga. So sabi ko parang, ano, um, I really wanted to be a medical doctor. I wanted to be a medical doctor. Pero sabi ko parang, kapag naging medical doctor ako, I don't want to do the diet process. But I want, I want to give the medication. So it's more of the art of dispensing the one. So I want to give the medication. I was to the talking, ganyan. Tapos, I was, ano, um, I was talking to patients, so yung mga dolls ko, uh, kaharap ko sila, tapos kausap ko sila. So, hindi, yun yung nami-picture ko ng bata ako. Because I never thought that I will be a clinical pharmacist then. Um, I never thought na yun yung gagawin ko din talagang area of practice later on. So, kumbaga parang, syempre, may, um, sa akin, in my end, natupad ko yung gusto kong practice. I mean, alam mo yun, parang, It's more than that. Siguro kulang ko na lang would be research and yun. So, number seven, what is your role in your current practice? Okay. So, good question. My role in your current, pra current practice, I am a clinical pharmacy. So, I was specializing in pharmacotherapy. So, when you say pharmacotherapy, it's your rational drug use. Okay. Drug use practice. So, you're not just giving dispensing medication, but you're also doing the monitoring, um, suggestive approach. You do the uh, everything that has something to do with your medication. So, um, you're, just, you're not just doing the counseling. You're also inter doing the intervention. So, for example, a uh, classic example of this is your mga antiviral drugs that was being used in the COVID-19 uh, COVID ward. So, syempre, you're not just dealing with mild uh, mild cases, di ba? Um, in the hospital setting, you're also dealing with moderate to severe cases. So, syempre, being a clinical pharmacist, your role was not limited to um, discharge instructions or short rounds, you're also doing an intervention. For example, if your patient is on piperazzoline dazobactam, um, and it's an antisodomonal penicillin, di ba? So, your patient has a high creatinine level. So, if you say, um, if the patient is at risk of um, acute kidney injury, so, mababa yung kanyang glomerular filtration rate. So, hindi siya nakakaihe. So, what do we do as a pharmacist? Uh, Siyempre, you do uh, dosage adjustments. So, those dosage as adjustments, uh, it helps the patient na, siyempre, di ba, ano ba yung natutunan natin with the pharmacokinetics? Uh, di ba, with the pharmacokinetics, kailangan pag uh, may renal impairment si patient, kailangan mong i-adjust yung dose ng mga medications niya. So, that was our role. Uh, we do suggestions on revision of medication, tapos monitoring of effects, ganyan. So, number eight, what are the opportunities that hold your career in that practice? Actually, it's a C, ano, um, siguro for me, um, now that I'm, I'm on the teaching side, uh, aside from doing the clinical pharmacy practice and then we do the developer it, yun sa teaching side na nga, um, siguro I'm really planning to have yung ano, uh, clinical pharmacy administration. So, it's medyo rigorous lang siya kasi uh, may kailangan kang i-take ng administrative courses. Last is what can you advise to pharmacy students who wish to pursue that area of practice? Well, like what I've said, Siguro, ano, have that, ano, great attitude for learning. And it's okay to chill. It's okay to relax. 
it's okay. Alam mo, it's definitely okay. If you're feeling tired in pharmacy school, step back. Relax. I have a question lang po. Um, uh-huh. Ms. Crystal mentioned po na you were in antimicrobial stewardship po. Um, ah, yes. Uh-huh. How did you end up po? How did you end up po in that field? And what are the specific things that you practice in that specific field? Okay. Yes, um... Actually, it's isa, ano, parang, ano ko ba sabihin? Uh, yung sa antimicrobial stewardship kasi, since I'm working in the hospital and I'm dealing with um, different kinds of patients, no? Using antibiotics, different ranges of antibiotics, um, it's either you go for a medication safety practice, you'll be part of the hospital formulary uh, subcommittee or the antimicrobial stewardship. Ever since kasi din, uh, I love antibiotics. Oh, parang ano, parang ang saya kasi ng infection, infection control. <laughs> ang saya kasi niya. At saka at the same time, di ba, if you would see ang daming sources of um, antimicrobial, antimicrobial resistance. Before, it's only the uh, amoxicillin ang may resistance, but now meron na yung ciprofloxacin, limofloxacin, and syempre, So, one of my interests din kasi the use of antimicrobials, any range of antimicrobials from antivirals, antifungals, yan. So, while going back, di ba, nabanggit ko din kanina na part of the pharmacotherapeutic practice that we have is we do suggest um, dosing adjustments of antibiotics. Yan. Because at the same time, we do monitoring of the antibiotics We do monitoring of the investigational drugs. Yes, na ginagamit for the COVID-19. So, it caught my interest kasi it's a wide range of hospital-wide practice siya. Anyone, um, anyone in the hospital is using the antibiotics. So, um, tapos later in life, di ba? Siyempre, pag nag-discharge instructions ka, yung ibang patients natin uh, uh, is prescribed with antibiotics then. Last question na po. Um, are you happy and satisfied po ba with your career? And um, do you have tips? Tip actually. Isang like your biggest tip po in person this career for us na mga aspiring mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Biggest tip is uh, you have to go out of the box. Yes, I'm gonna say it, You should not confine yourself in a uh, in your comfort zone in the four corners of your room. You have to go out of the box. If when you feel burned out, you have to go. Out. If you have, um, if you're feeling drained, you need to go out from other ka. So you have your yeah. Um, You can be, it's okay to be alone. Okay? You can work alone. You can, uh, I mean, alam mo yun, I think that's, yun yung ma-advise ko. Kasi hindi ako mag-advise sa inyo on, um, you need to, you need to be good in pharmacy school, ganyan. Kasi ano eh, it's, it's in you na eh. Discutin nyo na yan. Discutin nyo ng mga bata, yan. So, pero sa akin kasi, mahalaga sa akin that, The soft skills. You can search on that on Google. Um, your soft skills. Yen yung reason why people got promoted. It's not because of your um, what you have. Di ba sabi ko kanina? It's not because of what you finish the degree. Yun yan. Your soft skills. Your soft skills. Yun yung ticket mo for promotion. Yun yung ticket mo with connections. Yun yung ticket mo. That's how you. Um, ano ma-attack yung job na gusto mo. Diba? So, eh, yun na ako. Yun ang tip ko sa inyo, mga students. So, that sums up all of our questions for the data we need for our final project. Thank you so much, Miss April, for taking the time of your day to be with us and help with our coursework. May God bless you and we thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, 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 Thank you,